people are sort of macho. Uh, you know, women are kind of nice as long as they're not too much around and a good whack. And I never said that. Never I never and said well, that. Well, you Barbara. said you don't mind giving them a little whack. No, if, like, no, no. If you're it's lifting it right out of context. Okay, then you tell me. So we no, have you tell me what you, you... I don't profess to be macho. I don't profess to walk around smacking her. I never smacked my wife. Uh, it's the I'm attitude. Saying, it's the attitude. The attitude. Oh. Mm. This is Sean Connery, rest in peace. The first James Bond. In an interview he had in 1987 with Barbara Walters, he expressed himself in a manner that would have destroyed him in this day and age. Or in other words, they would have him cancelled. Let's have a look at this segment where he talks about friendship with men. Does the friendship mean a lot? Friendship with men? Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, I think that's one of the... Um, the the pleasures of golf as well. Mm. I'm not mad. I don't like playing golf with women, no matter how good they are. I really don't. Your wife plays golf. She's a very good golfer. Yeah. You don't, I don't like don't to play, play with her. I know. Why not? Because I don't like playing golf with women. Why not? I like the company of men better than golf. Why? It's very difficult to explain. It's just um, the. It's more pleasurable playing golf with with men than women. Barbara Walters doesn't like what he has to say, however, there is nothing wrong with what Sean Connery said. According to studies, male bonding time is not only enjoyable, it's actually essential. It's recommended men should see each other twice a week in order to maintain good physical health and well-being. That's why the manosphere is important. It's a male space where men can be men. We've made a video, she cheated on you, now what? Look at the comment section and you will see men getting strength from the support of other men. Women can't seem to understand that a man wants to spend time with another man instead of another woman. That's why they pulled the gay card to shame you for it. Years ago you did an interview which may come back to haunt you. What, you know what I'm going to say, right? No. Okay. You did an interview <laughs> in which you said... Uh, not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. Uh, you haven't? No. <laughs> she couldn't believe what he just said. Not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. I don't think, think it's bad. It must, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. You see what he just did? He provided context. It depends on the circumstances and if it matters. It's not about getting home from work and just slap the crap out of your woman just because you feel like it. So let's listen to his example. Yeah. What would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, they, they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and and get into a really provocative situation then i think it's absolutely right to give a good slap yeah absolutely this is gold like he said women are good at this you've tried everything else but they won't let it go they want the last word and you give it to them and they are not happy with the last word that's when they become provocative. This is usually the case when a man gets physical with a woman. Listen to Chris Brown's story. As you know, young relationships, any relationship is based on trust, but because I told her that she didn't trust me with anything. So I would let I would give her the option of, oh, you can look at my phone. So I gave her the phone. She looks at the phone and there's a message and it says, kill the Grammys, do your thing. Um, and I didn't read the rest of the message, I didn't open it. So she opened the message, and the rest of the message said, I'll see you at the cloud party. So off that, she thought I was lying. She starts going off, she throws the phone, I hate you, whatever, whatever. Starts hitting me, we're in a little Lamborghini. You know, she's fighting me, and I'm like, look, I'm telling you the truth, I swear to God. You know, I'm telling you the truth, stop it. So then she hits me a couple more times, and I, and I just kind of just, it doesn't go from translation to, let's sit down, I'm telling you the truth. It goes to, now I'm finna be, be mean and be evil arguing, arguing, arguing. So then like, she, like I remember she tried to kick me. It's like just her just being upset. But then I really hit her. Like I, I, like I, with a closed fist, like I punched her. 
you know, and, and it uh, busted her lip. And when I saw it, I was in shock. I was like, fuck, why the hell did I hit her? Like, so from there, she just spit in my face, like spit the blood in my face. And I'm like, yo, so it enraged me even more. Like it's a real own fight in the car. We driving in the street. Rihanna wouldn't let it go. And she became provocative and violent. Chris Brown lost it and had to pay for his actions. But women get a pass for abusing men. It's in movies, it's in songs. From Moonstruck to Shakespeare in Love to Pirates of the Caribbean, women hitting men may be a Hollywood staple, but it's not just in the movies. Major League pitcher Chuck Finley's wife, actress Tawny Katan, was arrested and briefly jailed after he accused her of pummeling him. She denied it and charges were dropped, but only after she agreed to attend anger management classes. Again, psychology professor Carrie Keating. It is a big problem in this country. Men create more damage, but women hit more than men do. Every year, there are more than 800,000 serious cases of women abusing men. You have to understand that Sean Connery was 57 years old in this interview. He comes from a time that giving your woman a spanking was actually normal. You know what you need? A good old fashioned spanking. Take a look at this clip of Roger Moore, who later on in his career also played James Bond. What you don't understand is that I could buy five men like you with my monthly allowance. You tried that already, it didn't work. And as for working my passage, I don't have to work my passage anywhere. Just what do you think I am? I think you're an idle, spoiled brat who could learn a little about honest work. Oh, you do? And furthermore, you have ceased being ornamental. You look like a good charwoman, now start acting like Do that. I? I've known some stupid jerks in my time, but you're just about the worst. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> Let me Man. Can you imagine the outrage if you would put something like this in a movie today? Matter of fact, look at what Barbara Walters says. Wait till people see this interview. Are you going to get male? Might get some female. <laughs> You're going to get some male. Sean Connery says probably female. These days it's emails, DMs, social media blowing up leading to you being cancelled. Do you ever slap your wife? She just can't let it go. No. No, she doesn't provoke it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she takes me to the wire. She's very, you know, she's uh, she's very much got her own views and opinion and everything. Mm -hmm. And she's French. And, you know, they are quite pragmatic. Sean Connery's marriage lasted until he passed last year. The next question is interesting. What makes your marriage work? That my wife has a lot of interests and things she's and totally absorbed with me <laughs> look at that face the fact that sean connery's wife is invested in him gives this feminist the creeps why because a woman is supposed to invest in her career and get a useless degree and stuff but investing in your relationship is foolishness i swore when I was preparing the questions for this interview, that I would not use the phrase male chauvinist. But you are a male chauvinist, aren't right. you? And what is a male chauvinist? Well, it's a guy who kind of, it's that so, sort of macho, uh, you know, women are kind of nice as long as they're not too much around and a good whack. And I, never fatty, said never that. I never and said it, well, that. Well, you Barbara. said you don't mind giving him a little whack. No, if no, no. If You're it's lifting it right out of context. Okay, then you tell me. So no, we have you tell me what you, you use. I don't profess to be macho. I don't profess to walk around smacking her. I never smack my wife. Uh, it's the I'm attitude. Saying, it's the attitude. This is pure gold. He asked her, what do you mean? She gives him an explanation that doesn't apply and he lets her know. So now it's the attitude. Women will always tell on themselves when you let them speak long enough. You hear these women talk about men being controlling or abusive, but when you ask them what do you mean, you find out that a lot of times it's the feeling they have. You mean I should, my attitude should be different when no, I'm talking I mean, about it's women? Okay. No, it's it's just, well, I don't like playing golf with women, that's a crime. <laughs> this is gold, man. I don't go and insist playing with them. So why should they come and just playing with me? Also in the, in the golf club when there's a room for men only, I think it's terrific. 
And why would they want to go in if they're not wanted there? Eh? Now, I suppose I could go and say, well, where's the ladies club here? I must go and <laughs> get some games of these wonderful... You see how stupid it sounds? You see the foolishness? Even Barbara Walters has to laugh because it doesn't make sense. 36 handicappers, and, you know what I mean? Equal time, Coming equal up with rights. Her. Yeah. <laughs> equal times, equal rights. Be careful what you ask for. Women wonder what happened to the men and they have no idea what that is. The moment a man stands in front of them, they are the first one to call him a chauvinist or gay because he doesn't agree with them or tells them what they want to hear. What Sean Connery displays in this interview is the definition of masculinity. And that's exactly why he was the first James Bond and why women were attracted to him. Look what happened to the present day Superman. That things have to change in the industry, but says the art of the chase is gone. And Henry says there's something wonderful about a man chasing a woman. There's a traditional approach to that, which which is nice. I think a woman should be wooed and chased, but maybe I'm old fashioned for thinking that. Yeah, and this is the part that got people riled up. It's very difficult to do that if there are certain rules in place, because then it's like, well, I don't want to go up and talk to her because I'm going to be called a or something. So you're like, forget it, I'm going to call my ex-girlfriend instead and then go back to a relationship which never really worked. Yeah, uh, yeah. Henry added that it's a whole new world. Now you can't really pursue someone further than no. It's like, okay, cool. But then there's the, oh, why do you give up? And it's like, well, because I didn't want to go to jail. Yeah, so now with the backlash, we reached out to Henry mm -hmm. and he wanted to apologize for any confusion or misunderstanding. He tells us, insensitivity was prob absolutely not my intention. In light of this, I would just like to clarify and confirm to all that I have always and will continue to hold women in the highest regard, no matter the type of relationship, whether it be friendship, professional, or significant other, significant other never would I intend to disrespect in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul says, true, men are afraid now. I mean, the, the element that people really hated was that he said the <laughs> thing, like, you're going to be accused of being a <laughs> just going up and talking to... Uh, I a female so that comment was not and great. you know what and it may sound harsh but I don't think that he's alone in feeling that way no. he had to apologize for something that is truly happening in modern day society because of the backlash he got from women the same women that complained that there are no good men out there created this environment where masculinity is deemed toxic <laughs> 